Hello and welcome to today's class. Here we have this challenge here. I made a video on this challenge a day ago and uh, my viewers uh, spot out an error. Yes, uh, it's a trivial error and uh, you know, nobody is opposed mistake but although when I look at the mistake, uh, it uh, was just too obvious for someone of my kind to actually make such mistake. And also, I want to thank the a viewer who actually pointed out this error and the manner in which they pointed out this error. Uh, it was so polite. It was so polite. I want to say a very big thank you to uh, you. Okay. Thank you to everyone that pointed out that error. Okay. We are not here to mislead people and that's why I just have to take down that video and I want to make it again. All right. So the question is k to the power of 32 equal to 2 to the power of k. What is the value of k here? So we take our solution here. All right. Now, in solving this, I said we could actually use the Lambert W function, but there is a simpler way of solving it without the use of the Lambert W function. And that way is this. Before you can do that, you must check this power here and check this number, which is the base number here. Okay. So if there is no relationship between the two numbers here, then you go ahead to use the Lambert WM function. But if there is a strong relationship between the power here and the base number here, then you can solve this using the simple algebraic method. So what is the method here now? Here we have our k to the power of our 32 here equal to 2 to the power of our k here. We just have to eliminate uh, this power here, eliminate this power here. In other words, we want all the variables to be on one side, they all the constant terms to be on another side. And so for us to eliminate this as a power, we just have to raise this part of the equation to 1 all over 32. And to eliminate this k, we still have to raise this to um, the power of 1 all over k. In other words, we want to raise both sides of the equation to the power of 1 all over 32k, right? Good. So this is going to give us here our k to the power of 32 all raised to 1 all over 32k, right? Equal to our 2 all raised to the power of k, therefore that raised to our 1 all over 32k. Okay. So yeah, we're going to apply a simple law of indices which says that your a to the power of your m times n is equal to your a to the power of your um, m or in bracket raised to n. All right, so if we do that, meaning we can cancel out this and this, then our k we cancel out with this. So we are now left with our k raised to 1 all over k is equal to this is going to give us our 2 raised to 1 all over 32. Easy. Okay. So here we want to strike a balance here. How do I mean? We are having k raised to 1 all over itself, which is all over k itself. Then we are having 2 raised to the power of 1 all over 32. So what we want to do here is this. We want to bring in a number that we can put up here. Then multiply that same number with 32 to give us the same thing here. Do you get that? In other words, we want to have a number that will be fully here, then that number will also be at the bottom here. So that like what we have in here now. Okay, good. So how do we get that number? We think of a number we're going to put uh, to the power of 2. In other words, we're going to raise 2 to, then we multiply that same number by, by 32, and it will give us the same answer. All right, so the logic I use there is uh, this. I said here, if we have here yeah, our 2 to the power of 2, let's start from power of 2. This is equal to our 4, right? Then if we multiply this number again by 32, what would that give us? And so we're going to have here yeah, our 32 times our 2. Then this is going to give us our 64. So here we have 4, here we have 64. So they are not the same. So we decide to increase this to 2 to the power of 3. And 2 to the power of 3 will give us 8. Then we have here 32 times our 3. This will give us 2 times 3 will give us 6. Then 3 times our uh, 3 will give us 96. So these two numbers are not still the same. And so we go again. 
2 to the power of 4, and 2 to the power of 4 will give us 16. Then we have 3, 32 times our uh, 4. This time around we have 4. So this will give us times 2 will give us our 8. Then 4 times 3 will give us our 12. Okay, this time around, I'll try to be careful, okay? Uh, though I did that in a hurry because my battery was about going down, but that is not to justify that error, please. Okay, so we go again. We take this to 2 to the power of uh, 5. 2 to the power of 5 will give us 32. Then we have 32 times 5. Then if we multiply 5 times 2, we give us 0. 5 carry 1. 5 times 3 will give us 15 plus the one you carry you have 16. So we have 2 to the power of 6. This will give us 64. Then we have here 32 times 6. This will give us 6 times 2 will give us 12. Carry 1. 6 times 3 will give us 18 plus the one you carry we have 19. 192. Still, this and this are not the same. So we continue again. We have 2 to the power of 7 is equal to, this will give us 128. Then we have 32 times 7 We give us, well, 7 times 2 We give us our 14, carry 1. 7 times 3 here We give us uh, 21, plus the one you carry we have 22. Right. Then we go again, we have 2 to the power of 8. This we now give us what here? So we're going to have 6 here. Then we have 5. Then here we have here 2. So we have 2, 5, 6. Then we now try this 32 times our 8 this time. So we have here 8 times 2. We give us our 16. Carry on. 8 times 3 will give us 24. Plus the one you carry. That will give us 25. So we have here 2, 5. So you discover that this number and this number, the answer there, they are both the same. So what we do, we now come in here and raise everything here to 8 all over 8. Okay? So this is now going to give us our k raised to 1 all over k is equals to 2 to the power of 1 all over 32 or in bracket raised to 8 all over 8. Now if we apply this law again, we can use this to times this, right? Good. Or we move this inside. So this can be expressed as our 2 to the power of 8, close bracket, or raised to 1 all over 32 times 8. Right? Good. So let's continue here. All right. Now, our 2 to the power of 8 is well. Look at it here. 2 to the power of 8 is 2, 5, 6. And so this is going to give us our k to the power of 1 all over k is equal to our 2, 5, 6, all raised to, yeah, 32 times 8. Look at it here. 32 times 8 is 2, 5, uh, 6. So we'll have here 1 all over 2, 5, 6. So we now have k raised to 1 all over itself. We now have 2, 5, 6 raised to 1 all over itself. So what does that imply? It means k is equal to 2, 5, 6. Now, the mistake I make in the previous one, yeah, I put in 8 here. All right? All right. So this is the value of our k that satisfies this challenge. Yeah. So we have to try to do a simple check to see if this actually satisfies this equation. So we have our um, k to the power of 32 is equal to 2 to the power of k. So we have, what is our k? 2, 5, 6 to the power of 32 is equal to 2 to the power of 2, 5, 6. 2, 5, 6 can be expressed in base 2, which is 2 to the power of 8. So this now going to give us 2 to the power of 8, bracket our 32 is equal to Easy, right? Good. We use this 8 to times 32 from this law here. So if we do that, look at it here. You still give us 2. So we have 2 to the power of 2, 5, 6 is equal to 2 to the power of 2, 5, 6. So this shows that the answer we got here, k equal to 2, 5, 6, actually satisfy the original equation.
So this brings us to the correction on uh, this uh, math problem. Thank you for uh, being there. Thank you for being very observant. We love you. Thank you for being there again, once again. Until we meet you in our next class, keep watching online mass TV. And we're here to give you nothing but the best, however simple it may be, but the best of it. Thank you once again. Bye for now.